Hello everyone. Today on this episode of the Cupcake Cat Show Trademarked, we'll be interviewing a royal high YouTuber, Bongo Lad. Hello, thanks for having me. I'm Bongo Lad. I'm a royal high YouTuber with 1.8k subscribers. If you do want to see me, uh, if my subscribers go up, you should totally subscribe. It's free, etc, etc. It's all help from what I have. So you're on the show for a very special day, right? It's your 99th video. One more until 100. You've made so much videos but only have 1.8 thousand subscribers. How does that make you feel? Did you, did you really have to? For this interview, we let the audience give questions for Bungo to answer. Some might be good, some might be weird, but let's all hope Bungo doesn't embarrass herself on camera. First off, here's a question from JXST Kishian. Why did you choose to make videos and how did you get inspired in drawing? And lastly, what platform or application do you draw and what do you recommend to draw? Hello. Well, being a YouTuber and making videos just sounded really cool in general because when I was young, I watched a lot of YouTube and I really was inspired to become like one of them to be able to make videos as a career instead of doing like any other boring other job. At first I was gonna do Minecraft, but I didn't know how to edit videos, so I guess we're here now. I started editing in my gotcha live slash for a high phase. So here we are. And then for drawing, uh, I always was like a drawer, but like just for fun. And then I found out about the Undertale fan art, and then I found out about fan art. I wanted to do fan art, it just seemed cool. You know, you draw little characters, like, oh my gosh, there's a little sounds, look at the little sounds. And I thought it was really cool. I saw that's what inspired me to go to drawing seriously. Now, like, ever since I've been drawing fan art and stuff for, like, for a high, etc. For application, I use Ibis Paint on the phone, but if you really want, like, any recommendations, I recommend using an iPad or tablet, or if you can, a drawing tablet. And then for computers, I would use like many big paint. I would just play Clip Studio Paint or Paint for SAI. So very inspiring. I am totally an artist and I totally understood that. Next is a question from It's Yum Yum. What's your favorite video you have ever made? What's your favorite TV show and slash or movie? My favorite movie or real high video that I made was with our high meme videos. It's basically where I just recreate a bunch of vines and memes and funny videos into real high. And I lo really love making them. I love like going out trying to find videos and then getting suggestions for them. It's always so fun to see the outcome of them. For my favorite TV show, I don't really have a TV show that I watch. I watch for like YouTube and anime and stuff. I don't have Netflix, I don't have Disney Plus, I don't have any of that. I don't even watch my own TV. But for a movie, I would say my favorite is Weather With You. It's so cool. It's like an anime movie sort of, but I cannot get enough of it. I love the style of like those little movies, the studio that fakes that puts out. Like a similar one is uh, Your Name or Kimi Noah. And I love that so much. I'm so obsessed with the songs they have on that. Okay, I'm just ranting now at this point. But yeah, so that's my favorite movie. And I don't have a TV show. Hey, I also love the meme videos. They are very cool to watch. Now we have our next question from Cora. Are there any artists you're a big fan of? Also, what's your favorite Pokemon? If I can name some drawing artists off the top of my head, it would be Natrix and Ruin Wolf. Those two are absolutely amazing at art. Natrix may have heard of her or not, I don't really know. If you're big to like the meme fandom or like during the PewDiePie craze, you've probably heard of them. But Natrix is pretty much this cool artist. She makes YouTube videos around her art and like more and stuff. And she makes like super fantasy drawings and she brings real life things to life inside her drawings. And then Real Wolf, their style is just extremely pleasant to see. They're mostly you know for their Techno Blade fan art, which honestly is so cool. Like every time they draw Techno, it gets so much more better. So yeah, they just have really cool drawings. 
And then for if you're talking about summon artist, I didn't know what artist you said if like if you didn't specify it. So my favorite song artists are Porter Robinson and Lovejoy. I don't think Lovejoy is artist or more just like a fan. I don't really know. But yeah, they make cool music. And then my favorite Pokemon would be Dido. Dido Dido. Like honestly, my favorite Pokemon would be Sylveon, but you know, not all opinions are that great. Now, Vagical Plebly Famoji has a question. Who inspired you to start drawing? What is your personal favorite drawing you have ever drawn? There are two people that come to mind as like an inspiration for me to start drawing. As I mentioned earlier, I was big into the Undertale community and its fandom, so I learned about AUs, and there are two artists that uh, stood out to me. Those were Camilla Cuevas and Gino Penazola, or JP for short. They're Undertale animators, they make their own Undertale AUs. Uh, Camilla has uh, Glitch Tail and Jakey has X Tail slash Underverse. I like watching their speed paints. I don't watch it like a lot now because I'm not big into like Undertale fandom. But like the way they're like making their own AUs. I know Camilla has her like, uh, I forgot called Glitch Tail Origins I think. She has that series going on, she has lots of speed art about it, or speed paints. And honestly, I just love their animations, and I love how they draw things. And it's so cool to see how much they've improved over the time, because they've been on YouTube animating for quite a while, like several years. And then my personal favorite drawing I've ever made was one, I think back in September, August, it was uh, art of Rainbow Chloe's character. And this is the style that basically like inspired me to make really cool like half body shots, like really dramatic lighting and just how like the character really focus. It was inspiring me to like make uh, really cool half bodies instead of none of that. And then also you might have seen I kind of style in my set drawings. Like Camille cool, cool. I don't know who Camille and JK are, but they seem like great people. I encourage the audience to check out their animations and videos, even if they are not Undertale -O fans, they deserve any support. Now, we're moving on from YouTube questions to Twitter. Yes, we also ask on Twitter. Our first Twitter question is from Stellar. What is your favorite game or second most favorite game other than Royal High? My two favorite games outside of Warhai and I guess outside of Roblox in general would be Minecraft and Genshin Impact. They're honestly really fun. I recently started getting back into Minecraft after I joined B's little Minecraft vanilla server. It's been a lot of fun there. And then for Genshin Impact, I also got back into it just recently. Like yesterday, I started finishing Castle Lore. And honestly, the ending is so cool. If you can, I definitely recommend checking Minecraft and Genshin out if you haven't, or else you're just looking in the hole. What are you doing? Also, Roblox has just been really boring in general, so I can't really think of any uh, Roblox games that come to mind. I guess uh, one game that I've been recently getting super obsessed with is Lox Foam. It's like Garnet Foam except for Roblox. It's really funny, I really like it, especially like the crew jogs people make out there, they're really funny to see. Yeah, Roblox is kind of boring. Cold. What? I was born in a Roblox game, how dare you insult my homeland. Whatever. This is from Itsaki Berry. Are you gonna read it or like... Uh, uh, okay. I guess I'll just read it myself. What is the first thing you ever submitted to Varahai from It's Akai Berry? first thing I submitted ever to Varahai was a billboard for Earth way, way back. Uh, you can still see it in game on the, the billboard, but it looks like this. When the billboard was implemented in the game, I had a stick out the billboard. And it made me so happy when I got it. So I kind of just decided, you know what, this might be the thing for me. But, you know, submissions weren't like, uh, happening all the way until, like, you know. You know, first, like, patterns or faces or something, I really know. Yeah, that was really cool to see. Wow, you didn't even know if your billboard got in, and yet you sat in front of it until you saw yours. What a weirdo. Our next question is from Travel Trouble. Why is your Roblox avatar fish? 
This is honestly just a really long one joke uh, by me, yours truly. It all started back in Mortal Kombat 2021, but yeah, please, yeah, 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 yeah. When I was a PG creator at Mortal Kombat, I was having a hard time picking out outfits for the event because it was supposed to be like California summer desert. I was like, how do you even do that? So I was trying to look up stuff and I picked the two outfits. One that was like an actual legitimate Roblox outfit and another was just a fish. I thought it'd be really funny if you just came with a suit. They bought a fish suit. When I got into the Royal, Ho Royal Cod's countdown game, I was wearing my fish costume and it actually started a cult. So that's how it became a joke with a fish. As a cat, I can confirm that I love eating fish and I would totally love to meet this fish fellow. Next question is from Boris. How did you find Roblox and Royal High? I found Roblox actually not at all that interesting. It was kind of just like, I saw this, I was like, okay, cool, I can do this. So if you guys don't know, this is Minecraft YouTuber. I guess it's a variety gamer now. I'm not sure what he does. I haven't seen him in a while. His name is Dan TDM. He's a big Minecraft YouTuber, you know, part of the OGs. So he made a Roblox video about speed run. I know, that's crazy. And I was like, whoa, that's so cool. Maybe I can play it as well. So I decided to give it a go. That's how I thought about Roblox. Guess we were a high an IRL friend actually introduced it to me because she would play on her computer all day. And I would be forced to use my uh, ugly, lame phone. So she introduced me to Tomorrow High. I was like, what's that game? She's like, oh, it's this cool game. You could go dress up and do all that stuff. You go to high school and stuff. I was like, oh, that's cool. What's it called? She was like, Tomorrow High. And this is before, like, Tomorrow High became this big. It was, like, a really, really old. It was when there was only Enchantix High and Tomorrow High campus. That was it. Yeah, that's how I found out about Roblox and Royal High. That's an interesting backstory. You found Roblox through a Minecraft YouTuber and a friend showed you the game. Now, as much as it hurts to say this, we are almost at the end of the interview, so here our last question from the Hydro of this age. Uh, uh, how, how, how do I... How do I answer that? Why wonder, Hoy? What? What happened? Why about- That's it for our interview with Bungo Lad. I hope you found this interesting and not boring at all. Now it turns out, Bungo actually has an announcement to share on today's show. Bungo, would you like to share the news? It would be my pleasure to share this news. So, you know, this is my 99th video ever on my YouTube video, or my YouTube channel. So I decided to make a hundred video stream just a little celebratory stream to show how much videos i made how much spare times i have on my hands i've been playing lots of games like uh hi blockstone portal bay maybe adopt me you'll be playing survivor all those cool games and it will all happen tomorrow at 4 p.m pst so you guys should totally come it'll be a blast and i'm sure we'll have lots of fun Everyone should go check out Bungo's stream tomorrow, I'm sure it will be very fun. Well until then, I am Cupcake Cat, and I bid you all farewell, thanks for watching.